There's hardly a forkful of Thanksgiving that doesn't involve agribusiness giant Cargill, America's biggest privately held company. Cargill makes key ingredients in gravy, cranberry sauce, packaged dinner rolls, cornbread mix and marshmallows for the sweet potatoes. It manufactures the vegetable oils used to roast potatoes and crisp turkey skin. Cargill owns Diamond Crystal, the country's largest salt producer. Pies and the after-dinner coffee get sweetened with Cargill's sugar alternative, Truvia. Even the candles on the table may be made from Cargill's vegetable wax. As the centerpiece of the Thanksgiving industrial complex, Cargill also brings America the star of the show. The Minneapolis-based behemoth says it supplies one-third of the 40 million turkeys scheduled for devouring on Thursday. There's not too many ingredients we don't play in, Tom Windish, who heads up Cargill's primary beef and turkey businesses, tells Forbes. We could be in your macaroni and cheese. It won't say Cargill on the box, but we're part of many supply chains. We're in that meal somewhere, whether it's the feed or the center of the plate. Cargill has been in the turkey business for six decades, rising to be the third biggest producer in the U.S. behind Seaboard-owned Butterball and Hormel's Jenny O. Roughly 900 million pounds of turkey come from Cargill each year, and the birds are a significant part of Cargill's North America Protein Division's $28 billion in annual sales. Cargill had total revenue of $177 billion during its last fiscal year, which ended in May. Turkey is one of Cargill's more profitable businesses, buttressing the fortunes of the 12 individual billionaires who inherited stakes in the family company. Cargill started out as a grain warehouse in a frontier boom town in Iowa in 1865, just two years after Abraham Lincoln called for a National Day of Thanksgiving on the last Thursday of November. Cargill has been a holiday powerhouse ever since. It wasn't until a century later that the company got into turkey production. Cargill bought a processing plant in Ozark, Arkansas in 1967, adding turkey brand Honeysuckle White as it was diversifying into oilseeds, salt mining and beef processing. With the 2001 acquisition of Rocco Foods came turkey slaughterhouses in Virginia and Cargill's second turkey brand, Shady Brook Farms. Together, the two labels account for half the Cargill turkeys sold in the U.S. The rest are sold as stores in-house brands. The 158-year-old company, which sells birds raised by more than 550 farmers, may have the scale to eventually beat out its two bigger, publicly traded turkey competitors. Butterball owner Seaboard has been challenged for years. Jenny O, oh, meanwhile, has been one of the biggest drivers of operating profit declines at Hormel this year, according to Goldman Sachs agribusiness and packaging analyst Adam Samuelson.